Hello everyone, this is Sanford Kelly. Y'all know me, Marvel 2 legend. <laughs> um, I have a lot of things to talk about uh, concerning my history, uh, concerning my present, and also concerning my future. And I want to talk about my departure from Empire Arcadia as well as my return. Back when I started playing fighting games, I met a guy named Jerron. Jerron Grayson became my best friend in this world. I've known him for 22 years now. Me and Jerron, you know, we still had our rivalry, and then we went to the Chinatown Fair one day, and we were playing CBS1. At the time, you know, you could pick four ratio one characters. So you had four characters that you could pick, but they were ratio ones, which means they were the weaker characters in terms of health. So since there were four characters, me and Jerron would use two characters each. And one day, a guy named Norman, the Harlem hero, shout out to him, he, uh, he was working the CF at the time. He was like, yo, you know, you guys should come on a Friday. You know, you guys get to play Justin. You know, you get to play Arturo. You get to play Eddie Lee. So we went there, and that's how I kind of got introduced to the FGC because I didn't know that these guys were the best in the East Coast at that particular game. And Justin was the best in Marvel 2. So I was like, all right, I really want to play these guys. I'm excited because, I'm, you know, this competition. Like, Competition makes me keeps me going. So, I met Justin. Uh, Justin was a great guy. Um, at the time, um, I couldn't touch him in Marvel 2 because I was playing Silver Samurai teams, and he was just better than me. He was playing all types of teams, and I kind of stemmed away from playing CVS One because he was so good, and I was just like, I really like this game, and I want to learn this as well because I don't want to stay playing one game. I want to play something else, because that, that Marvel was just more fun than Street Fighter to me. And I was playing Marvel, and then uh, Chris Bond, uh, excellent th uh, Alpha 3 Trump player, told me to come to a tournament. It was called March Madness in Philadelphia. It was the first major that I went to. I went there, I won my first major. That's how I got introduced to the FTC. I won my first major in CBS 1. Jerome wasn't able to come, unfortunately, to the tournament, so I, I held it down. You know, I won that and then I was just excited from that point. I was like, you know what? I want to just be the best. I just want to be the best. Since I won a tournament, I felt like, you know, I was, my confidence boosted. Started entering tournaments, started entering tournaments. Justin was beating everybody in Marvel 2. I watched him versus Ricky at ECC 6. From that point on, he went to Midwest Championships. He beat Alex Valle in the finals. He won that. He went to B5, beat Duck. I was at B5. That was the first Evo, quote-unquote, that I went to. It wasn't called Evo at the time. It was called B5. Then Before that was B4. So, uh, you know, I watched Justin's rise, and I always wanted to beat him because he was the best. And that fateful day where I felt that it was the biggest win in my career was when I beat him at Breakpoint for the first time ever, which is his first loss as a singles competitor in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in 2004. Um, he's a mentor to me. He's one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time, in fighting games. And Empire Arcadia really had the best players at the time. And it really pushed me to grow as a player and as a, as a person as well. Because all those years that I was improving, I was improving at Triforce's house. I wasn't improving at the arcades. I was improving at Triforce's house. Triforce's house is where we all played these games at and, tra and trained in practice. Triforce had everything. Every game that I wanted to get better at, he had it at his house. So I would go over there and play. He would not charge us any fees to play. He would have food prepared if we went over there. He would have snacks prepared if we went over there. Everything. That's why... I always represented Empire Arcadia because of what he did for me before the FGC. Empire Arcadia was 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 built from the ground up. It was built into that. It was built into an empire. It was just a small uh, gathering of video land of, play, of players that wanted to just improve, and then it grew into an empire. That's when Justin and Ricky and Dude, Knuckle Dude and all of the greats came along. For me... That was a great part of my childhood, you know. That was a great part of my childhood. And winning EVO 2K9, before I went there, I was at the art. I got the necessary skills to win that particular event. 
there were other places that I trained, like, you know, Nelson's house, God rest his soul. He would have me over there. I would play at his house with Chunksta, with Yipes, with a couple of other greats. And they augmented my skill. You know, my skill was, 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 was pretty good at the time. But I was really playing Street Fighter 4 a lot before Evil 2K9 because it just came out. So I was really focused on that because I was a Ken player at the time. I was like, damn, I was just trying to find a character that really suited me, which I then picked up Cammy, who was a DLC character, and then I had Homo on the side, who was better than Ken in, in um, Vanilla Street Fighter 4. So I was really playing that a lot, but I wasn't playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 that much. It was really off and on with, I was really off and on with the game because I was so focused on Street Fighter. When I went to Evo, I didn't have any expectations to win. But then when I made it out of pools, I was just like, okay, I can win this tournament. I can, this, could be, this could be it. And when I did that, it meant a lot to me. You know, Triforce was there when I won, and I was really happy about that. I'm just proud to say that I was able to represent them at his, at his glory is, and I was there when it when it was when it was uh, weakened. You know, when a lot of players left, and yeah, I would like to get into that. In 2014, I attended an event called Apex, uh, which is generally a Smash Brothers major. They had Street Fighter 4 on the side. Uh, a lot of the top players came to the tournament. K. Brad came through. Knuckle Dude was there. Justin was there. Ricky Ortiz was there. Kevin Landon Dominion was there. And it was a you know it was a tournament that I was really looking forward to because I just learned the character named Oni. You know Oni uh, wasn't revered as a very strong character at that particular time. He was you know nobody knew his potential. Again, I was at the art. Uh, playing with him a lot online, and I was really in and out with the character. I was like, this character's not that good. His walk speed is really slow. Uh, all he really does have is damage, and, you know, I, he's just like a bootleg shuttle. But in terms of, uh, you know, his moves, and he was kind of like a Marvel-type character, so I was like, you know, he could go float in the air and do tatsus and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I could be really creative with the character. I don't have to play Ryu and Sagat all day, because they kind of try you know, in terms of their movesets compared to Oni, in my opinion. So that's why I played Oni. And I went to that tournament, and I won in dominant fashion because a lot of people didn't know about his his strengths, you know. And I took advantage of that. I also took advantage of the fact that I had a lot of momentum going into the top eight, um, considering that I was playing a lot the day before. I was playing a lot of characters the day before with him, and I was really warmed up. So after I won that tournament, I then went on to uh, Germany. I went to Germany for an event called ESGN TV under Empire Arcadia. Um, I represented Empire Arcadia there. It was a, a great event. I lost Infiltration twice, uh, who was the world champion in Street Fighter 4. And I had a great time in Germany. You know, Germany was amazing. I represented EMP to uh, my, my fullest. And after that, a lot of things, you know, a lot of things changed. You know, the fallout started to happen. Fallout meaning players started leaving, seeking other opportunities. They some of them left without even really telling Triforce that they were leaving, and that's that's how that went down. For me, I didn't leave EMP necessarily because I seeked another opportunity or a better opportunity in general. I left EMP because I needed space from EMP. I needed space to recollect myself as a person, as a person. You know, uh, Triforce really wasn't living in New York at the time, or he was leaving New York at the time, and that's like a brother to me. And for him to leave, it just isn't the same. You know, it just isn't the same uh, being in this scene without him. You know, it's really hard for me to, to deal with that. Uh, I saw, a, a, you know, a drama thing, and it really hurt me to leave my best friend who wanted to stay in the EMP, but I know as long as EMP had him, then the company would stay strong. You know, the company would stay strong. It has my best friend. It has a great, great, great player. Player is still in there, like KDZ. And for me, it was just it was just a, a positive move for me on a, on a personal level, you know. I then joined Steam Co. at that time. And that was an amazing year altogether because I went to Mexico that year. I stayed there for a week. They treated me like, like a king, <laughs> and it was probably the best place I've ever been. And on top of that, 
EMP was the reason I went there. You know, initially the EMP was the reason I went there. I just went there as under Steam Code because that's what I joined at the time. Steam Code took care of me. They took care of me personally and professionally. It was an amazing sponsor. It was the best sponsor I've ever had. EMP is not a sponsor. So in terms of sponsorships, Steam Code treated me like like their own, like 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 a, like like a brother, you know, like like I was family, and I appreciate all of the time that I've been with them and everything that they've done for me. Unfortunately, it was the team, the the fighting game team, was taken out because of a, an incident that happened at a, at a pro tour event called Combo Breaker, and you know, E Sig companies and everything was was banned from Capcom events, which is why I lost my sponsorship with them. So that's basically why the fallout. I don't know why for every particular person they left the EMP, but that's why I left the EMP because I needed space to collect myself in terms of, of my personal life and somewhat my professional, considering that Triforce had left the States. You know, um, like I said, Triforce is a brother to me, and for me to not be around him doing Empire Acadia uh, things and things for Empire Acadia and myself, it just it just wasn't it wasn't right. You know, it didn't feel the same. And just especially considering that I was I've been around him for like 14, 15 years before that, so it was just a very different experience for me, and I just needed to move on at that time. Yeah, I wanted to touch up on a subject uh, that I was. Talking to a friend of mine the other day, he was saying it's uh, Triforce like doesn't pay players and stuff like that. Why didn't he pay you when you're in Empire for being in Empire and stuff like that? First of all, the con the contracts with Empire Arcadia, they don't say that they're sponsoring any players. He doesn't owe anybody anything. Um, to my knowledge, he doesn't really owe anybody anything in terms of the Empire. Uh, they're not a sponsorship. I've said this already. Uh, he's never in his life took any money from me. You know, all the tournaments that I won, locals, majors, he's never took a penny out of my pocket. So I also wanted to touch on the situation with with uh, with the payout, you know, at tournaments. The tournaments that I won in the past... I use that for myself. I use that for myself. I use that to help get to the next tournament. I was basically funding myself to go to the next tournaments, you know. And even at times, Triforce has helped me go to tournaments himself, you know, out of his own pocket, you know. And that's that's that. It uh, it wouldn't even be a lot, you know. It'd just be enough to travel like on a train or, or you know, he like probably pay somebody to drive me to a tournament or I paid them to drive to a tournament. Most of the time it was basically me providing my my way to tournaments. And that's that's just the truth about it. He was really just promoting me and trying to show me how to get into esports. Because before all of this esports stuff that you know about now, Triforce was basically hip on it. He's basically letting everybody know what esports was and preparing us for it. Empire Acadia is not a sponsorship. People don't understand that. Like when he was was helping all of these players and having them in Empire, that was for him to show everybody what esports was. It was to, to give them opportunities for sponsorships to look at them and for him to promote those players so sponsorships can go, hey, we want that guy. But the reason that they didn't want to be associated with Triforce is because of his reputation. But the reputation that he has is not real because there's no evidence. There's no evidence of this bad reputation that he has. It is stories that people made up because they were in an organization that they weren't being sponsored in. But he never said he was going to sponsor you. He never signed a contract that said it would sponsor you anyway. So it was just basically a whole bunch of stories, a whole bunch of lies and a whole bunch of politics to make him look bad, which – you know, I really saw for myself, and I always, that's why I always defended him, because I'm like, no, that's not true, because I used to live with this man. I used to live with him, along with every, a lot of other people. And for me, that just rubbed me the wrong way to hear all these stories about him that are false. I mean, some of them may be true, but I don't know any true ones. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying, because I don't know of any true ones. If there is, then 
it's up to that particular person to discuss that with Triforce if he has an issue with him. But quite frankly, a lot of people do not do that because it isn't true, in my opinion. If you are a man about something, you confront the problem. You don't avoid it. That's just the way I handle things. And that's basically all I got to say about it. I would like to take this time to address the AD in my name, my current name, uh, AD Sanford Kelly. AD stands for Arcade Dreams. Arcade Dreams is a competitive organization, uh, fighting game organization stationed in Munich, Germany. They um, they create scenes, they create uh, um, their TOs, they run tournaments there. They're um, they're an establishing company. Like they like to like build communities and and uh, you know give players opportunities and so forth. So they kind of remind me of of of, of Empire Arcadia in a way. You know, they like the, the build of players and the communities that they're in. And um, they've really taken care of me the last year since I've been with them, personally and professionally. I'm talking about outside of the games. You know, there was a time where uh, I was going through a lot. They helped me out financially to get to, uh, you know, tournaments that I've been to. They've helped me out outside of that, just like Triforce has in the past as well. Everybody's going through their struggles, and um, that was basically mine, you know, a year ago. Uh, I lost a close friend of mine at a time, you know, and he, he looked out for me, you know, helped me get through that um, and my depression and um, my stress, and they've really been with me in and out of my career, and um, that is an organization that I, I, I probably say that I'm a part of. No, they are not a sponsorship. They never told me that they would sponsor me. What they do is they provide security for their family, you know, which is I'm basically a family member of theirs. You know, they've looked out for me as if I was family, and uh, I appreciate them very, very much. And I hope to do big things with them in the future. I hope, you know, we don't ever part ways for any particular reason. Um, Jessica and, and Matt have really, really looked out for me, and that is, you know, the heads of Arcade Dreams, and they've really, really, really been supportive of Sanford Kelly, you know, not just me inside of games, but outside of them, so I want to salute them for, for being there for me, and uh, as I said, I hope to do big things with you guys. So... I would like to, at this time, officially announce that I have returned back to Empire Arcadia as my esports team. I will be representing and endorsing Arcade Dreams as well. Empire Arcadia is my esports team. I will also be rejoining my brother, Jerron Grayson, who was in the EMP, and I hope to do big things. Uh, it's great to be back. I've already... Uh, contacted Triforce. Um, this was my idea to rejoin. We had a really, really long talk about things. To be honest, I really didn't want to hear about all of the negatives in the past, and I just want to talk about the positives of the future, and it looks very bright. I will be competing in Tekken 7, as I'm doing now. Uh, I've shown interest in MECI. I don't know if I'm going to fully play it yet, because I've been playing Tekken 7, because it takes so much commitment and homework to be good at the game, and it's a lot of a lot of frustration and salt involved, but I'm learning. I uh, just had a big session yesterday. I played about 50 to 100 games with, uh, with some great players. I've learned a lot. I will be also playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, you know, new Dragon Ball game that will be coming out. I, uh, Hope to compete. Uh, we'll be also releasing content, <laughs> which means I will be streaming, which means I will be uploading videos. Well, I'll be uploading uh, tutorials, hopefully. Um, you can ask me any questions about games, any type of help, any type of uh, relation to my history, or anything like that. I am willing to answer you. Uh, any direct questions, you can... Talk to me on Twitter. You can hit me up on Facebook. I'm always willing to help anyone in this community because I'm about growing. And there's a lot to, to learn still for me. You know, uh, there's a lot of 
there's a lot of humbling that I need to do. You know, there's a lot of players that are great. I've lost to them in the past. I've beaten some of them in the present. But to be to, to be honest, there's still a lot of learning. Learning is is a big part of winning. You learn a lot when you lose. I think you even learn more when you lose. For me, in that case, it has been the case. I've lost to a lot of people in the past that I've gotten my revenge on the next, very next tournament because I did my studying and my research. Back then, there was no YouTube. Back then, there was no streams. There was only VHS tapes, cameras, and that was really it. Um, nowadays, you have a lot more resources to get as good as you want to get, and I look to take full advantage of that. I mean, why not? You know, If it's out there, it's out there. There's nothing wrong with borrowing a setup. There's nothing wrong with borrowing a strategy. There's nothing wrong with that because that's part of gaming. That's part of learning. That's part of getting better and improving. Everybody takes something from somebody, all right? So that's basically what I, all I got to say about returning. That's what I look to do for my future. You know, my future... It's very bright. I'm very happy about my return. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of negative things said about it. Quite frankly, I'm not concerned about the negative. I'm concerned about creating the positive. Creating a positive look for me, giving back to the community, and as well as giving back to Empire, Empire Arcadia. I have to give back to Empire Arcadia because they have given to me most of my life.